is level 2 DIY for 65R233, verb forms, per present progressive, and past progressive. Okay, so let's take a look at the top. It says, verbs in the progressive form describe action and that continues. The present progressive form of a verb describes an action that is continuing at the present time. The present progressive form consists of a helping verb, which is am, are, is, or is, plus the present participle of the main verb. The past progressive form of a verb describes an action that was continuing at an earlier time. The past progressive form consists of a helping verb, was or were, plus the present participle of the main verb. Okay, so in other words, the present progressive form has the helping verb am, are, or is, plus a action verb, ing, with ing. Okay. So here we have am laughing, or are laughing, or is laughing. Okay. If we're talking about plural, meaning more than one person, we have are laughing. The past progressive form uses the helping verb was or were plus the present participle of the main verb meaning was or were plus the verb with ing. So was laughing or were laughing. Okay, so our exercise says, fill in the blank with the progressive form of the verb in parentheses. Change the pre present tense verbs to the present progressive form and the past tense verbs to the past progressive form. So I'm going to do one through four with you, and then you're going to do uh, five through ten by yourself. Okay, so number one, our verb is watched, so we need to add a helping verb to watched. Okay, so we have the students, and since we're doing past, because and we know we're doing past because of the ED, we're going to use either was or were. And then we're going to add ing to the end instead. So the students was watching a video about possums or the students were watching a, student, a video about possums. Since there is more than one student, we are going to use were. So the students were watching a video about possums. Number two. Now they blank up facts about other animals. We have look, and it's present, because it doesn't have ED. We have they, which is plural. So that means we are going to use are. And we're going to add ing to look. So now they are looking up facts about other animals. Number three, Jacob blank to a recording of whale sounds. Listen is present. There's only one person, Jacob, 
So we're going to use either am, art, or is. Now does Jacob am listening to a recording of the whale sounds sound right? No. Does Jacob are listening to a recording of whale sounds sound right? No. But Jacob is listening to a recording of whale sounds does make sense. So there is our present progressive is listening. Number four, Mr. Ling blank everyone to give a report. Requires is present. Mr. Ling is only one person. So again, we're going to use a singular form. Let's try is first. Mr. Ling is requiring everyone to give a report. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. There's our answer. Is requiring everyone to give a report. Go ahead and pause the video and finish 5 through 10 and then turn to the back page. Okay, now we're talking about perfect tenses, present and past. The present perfect tense of a verb is used to describe the action that happened at an indefinite time in the past. It is also used to describe something that happened in the past and is still going on. The present perfect tense is formed by combining the helping verb have or has with the past participle of the main verb. So instead of Uh, putting ing, we're going to put ed. The past perfect tense of a verb describes an action that happened before another action or event in the past. The past perfect tense is formed by combining the helping verb had with the past participle of the main verb. Okay, so let's look at our exam or our exercise. It says complete each sentence by changing the verb in parentheses to the tense indicated. I'm going to do one through five with you, and then you're going to do six through ten by yourself. Number one, they blank with his aunt in nearby Virginia. We need the past participle of they. So we are going to add either, or we're going to add had and add or make stay past. So they had Stayed with his aunt in nearby Virginia. Number two, Daryl and his father blank some attractions on previous trips. Again, we have past perfect. And visit. Okay, so we're going to use had again. And we need to make visit past. So Daryl and his father had visited some attractions on previous trips. 
Okay. Number three. His stepsister Emily blanked to see the Air and Space Museum. Again, it's past. And we have want as our verb, so it has to be, we need to add ed. We're going to use had again. Had wanted. The steps of sister Emily had wanted to see the Air and Space Museum. Number four. This time we have present perfect and visit. So this time, since we're doing present perfect, we're going to use have or has with the past participle as a main verb. So we still have to add ed to visit but we need to figure out if we need to use have or has. So is it Daryl have visited the Air and Space Museum twice, or is it Daryl has visited the Air and Space Museum twice? Right, it's has. Okay. Number five. Space travel blank Daryl's father. We have present. So we are not going to need, or we're doing present and not present perfect. So we do not need had or have or has. We need to just change fascinate to present. So space travel fascinate. Daryl's father. Let's go back to number one. Number one asked for just past and not past uh, perfect. So mark out had. It should just be they stayed with his aunt in nearby Virginia. Okay. Before you continue and finish the worksheet, let's look at 6 through 10. 6 is only asking for past, so you should not need to use had before it. You just need to change agree to the past tense. 7 is asking for past perfect. 8 is asking for past perfect. 9 is asking for present perfect and 10 is asking for past perfect. All right, go ahead and finish it. Put your name on your paper and turn it into the basket. <laughs> 